Thank you for being a part of this month's Global Crusade with Kumi. It's been a blessed four days in the presence of our mighty God. We've heard testimonies of God redeeming the lost, breaking bonds, and healing minds as well as bodies. I want to charge you to stick around for more because if you've been filled, you'll be filled to overflowing. And if you've not yet received, now is your appointed time. Trust God because He is able. I say, chapter 1, verse 13, it says, Come now. If you're being suffering, you're depressed, you're confused, you're torn apart, and things are not working straight in your life, the Lord says, Yes, I know. And I know exactly what you are going through. I know what you are suffering from, and I'm ready to help you. But He says, Now, here is your day, here is your time. Come now and let us reason together. And let us reason together. Look at the Almighty God, high in heaven, great in heaven, with power, able to do all things. He says, You come. And that let us reason together. I'm wondering why God, the Almighty, should say, let us reason together. Uh, let me stand here and tell you on the side of God. He said, I made you. I created you. And I created you for life, not for death. I created you so that you will be one like us. Look at them, he said. He said, is going to create man and it will create man and every man every woman will be like him he said let us reason together says the lord now he said though your sins be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow every stain in your life the lord will wash it off tonight and if that black thing there, that dirty thing there, that thing that gives you concern and condemnation. The Lord says today, even though your sin might be as scarlet, if the deepest uh, dye and the deepest color that people could have, that you use ordinary soap, it will not clean it up. And you use detergent, it will not clean it up. And all the things on earth that you could use, all the earthly remedy that you could not use and remove that stain, the Lord said, with him, with God, with the Almighty, that is possible tonight. He'll take all the stain away. He'll take all the condemnation away. He'll take all the depression and the thing that is pushing a man and pushing a woman. He wants to commit suicide. He'll take that away from your life tonight in Jesus' name. And then he said, though they be red like crimson, though they be red like crimson, here is God, here is the Almighty. He said, if you can only come, that is the word a word of invitation the word come is a word of action you're sitting down there and somebody is standing up here and he says come come now then you understand now you're not going to say I want uh, to hold on to my sickness one day more. Uh -uh. You will not take sickness away in Jesus' name. Everything you have, he says, now come. And the word come, if he is standing here, and you are down there, you cannot stay there and say, I come. No. Come is a word of action. It's saying, Jesus. You know what the Bible says? Jesus came. If Jesus remained in heaven, that will not be any, any sign that he came, but he led where he was. Because he wants to deliver you. For your sake he came. Somebody say amen. amen. Because of your sin, because of your sickness, because of your sorrow, because of your shame that you couldn't even come out, he said, Let's reason together. I can wipe that shame away tonight. I can wipe away all the disgrace and shame and everything. But you have to do something. It says, 
I'm waiting for you here. Come, come now. And let us reason together. It's a human divine consultation that you says, come to me and consult with me and tell me. And I will tell you the reason why that thing has taken place. And after the discussion, after the petition, after the prayer, after exposing your condition to the Lord, then before we leave here tonight, it will clean up your life. Yeah. It'll take every sin and every condemnation away from you. And then he uses two words. He says, snow and wool. You'll be as white as snow. No stain will remain in your life from tonight. And then no dirt will remain in your life tonight. Because it says, once you come, you tell me, I tell you, I provided a remedy, a solution. Your problems are over. New creation, redemption will come in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Hello friends, it's Bob Fitz here, worship leader and gospel artist. And you are watching GCK Daily, Global Crusade with Kumuyi. God bless you. Keep on standing. We're praying now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for your love. And we thank you for your invitation. And you do not give a partial invitation to some and not to others. There is room at the cross for everyone. And I pray, Lord, your forgiveness will come to everyone now in Jesus' name. I pray that all the condemnation and all the guilt and all the confusion and all the powerlessness in their sin. I pray you take everything away in Jesus' name. Set them free. Break that yoke of sin. Break the shackles of sin and the things that held them captive. Lord, destroy everything of the devil from their lives, from their soul and spirit in Jesus' name. Confirm the salvation, the joy of salvation, the forgiveness in salvation, the freedom in salvation, confirm it in every life now. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. A great amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we we'll pray, Lord, you demonstrate, manifest your power right now in Jesus' name. We we'll pray, Lord, whatever the problem is, internal, external, in the bone, in the joint, in the tummy, in their lungs, anywhere, touch them miraculously now. Heal them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that every pain will vanish away. Infirmity vanish away. The weakness of the body vanish away. I pray whatever is the name of the problem, of the sickness, of the disease, Lord, demonstrate your wonders upon them now. Heal them, deliver them in Jesus' name. Evil power of demons, of evil spirit, to mention any life, I command that evil spirit and that demon come out in Jesus' name. And all those so-called incurable diseases they've taken here and there, and they have not been healed, manifest your power, heal them now in Jesus' name. I problem, be healed in Jesus' name. Ear problem, be healed in Jesus' name. Impediment in your speech, be healed in Jesus' name. The pain of cancer, I pray, Lord, touch them, heal them now in Jesus' name. Ulcer, I pray the pain and the symptoms of ulcer will vanish away in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis, be healed now in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS, be healed in Jesus' name. Sequel cell problem and pain, the Lord touch you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. 
I pray that occultic problems uh, with the power of the occult tormenting your life, all that part be broken away from your life now. You're delivered. You're set free. Lord, confirm in their lives in Jesus' name. Madness and uh, insanity. I pray the Lord will touch that brain and touch that mind right now. Be healed and delivered in Jesus' name. And I pray that that sensation of wanting to commit suicide, wanting to die, I pray, Lord, that you remove the confusion in their lives and give them the joy and the excitement to want to live in Jesus' name. You stepped on poison and the poison is taking effect. I pray that, Lord, you neutralize the poison now. Heal them, deliver them, and set them free in Jesus' name. Every kind of problem, internal, external, leprosy, whatever. Lord, I pray from the left to the right, to the middle, to the center, and to the back, everywhere, online, over the radio, over the television, miracle, wonders, healing, deliverance, manifested upon every life right now. Lord, let there be confirmation, demonstration in every life right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is done. I am healed. I am delivered. With faith, check it out. You have your miracle right there. Hear our prayer. We are your children. And we've gathered here today. We've gathered here to pray. Hear our cry. Oh Lord, we need your mercy. And we need your grace today. Hear us as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, hear us from heaven, forgive our sin, we pray. Hear our song. As it rises to heaven, may your glory fill. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, the Global Crusade with Kumi. We believe that this episode has drawn you into a closer relationship with Jesus Christ, who loves you so much and gave his life that you might live. As we conclude today, we would love to get to know you personally. Please visit us at gckhq.org slash cwc to connect with us and enable us to share our helpful resources with you. Also, the greatest thing you can do is to share today's message with a friend so they too can be blessed. We are grateful for the time you have given today and look forward to seeing you tomorrow on GCK Daily. We also invite you to join us at our next Global Crusade. Times and dates are listed on the screen for your specific time zone. Thank, Thank you. you.